Our standing army consists of 600,000 infantry, 130,000 cavalry, 9,000 elephants attended by 36,000 men together with many thousands of chariots and charioties. Ashoka the Great is a model ruler, controlling the vast and diverse modern empire with wisdom. Yes, it's true. It would be nice if we followed the 10 aspects of Dharma. Patience, self-control, reason, forgiveness, sanctity, honesty, truthfulness, knowledge of learning, control of sense, and absence of anger. The great Samrat Ashoka is now entering the court. Senapati, what's the state of the modern imperialism in India? My lord, most of the states in India are already under our rule, except one, Kalinga, which indeed forms a major part of the western region of Magadha. It is an important kingdom because it controls the trade routes. If it is like that, then send my messenger to the king of Kalinga. Either they consent to our rule or are prepared for war. But my lord, there is no need for war. We have already invaded more than enough regions. We need to follow Dharma. It is the ethical code to inculcate the social responsibility among the people. Acharya, I know what I am to do. I want to capture it and lead my huge army to Kalinga. My lord, Samra Dashaka has sent a proposal for you. My lord, Samra Dashaka has sent a message saying that either we bend our knees to him or prepare for war. What? Neither in the past did Kalinga give in to anyone, nor shall we this time. We always keep our independence above everything else. Tell your king to be ready for war. Acharya, Kalinga has now become a part of our empire. Aren't you happy? I wasn't happy then, nor am I happy now. No one is benefited by war. Acharya, war is the only truth. Either one wins a war or dies in the front. And I have won. Yes, my lord. You have won. You have won the sobbing of widows. You have won shrieks of orphans and all these dead bodies. What have I done? If this is the state of victory, then what is defeat? Is this justice or injustice? I have expanded my territory, but at what cost? The cost of others' lives? I really don't own this kind of empire. Acharya is right. I have made a decision. I will not wage any more wars. I will devote the rest of my life to spread dharma. 
Looking at the terrible loss of lives in the Kalinga war, Ashoka felt remorse and he became a follower of the Buddha's teachings. As a Buddhist emperor, Ashoka believed that Buddhism is beneficial for all human beings as well as animals and plants. He built a number of stupas in his time. He also well spread Buddhism to his neighboring kingdoms. Oh